Section 6.3, number 8. Here we have a trinomial, and we want to factor it by grouping. So the first thing we want to do um, is figure out how can we make this four terms, because that's what we need to do factor by grouping. To make it four terms, we're going to break the middle term into two different pieces that add up to 15. But those pieces have to break into numbers that also work well with the 4 and 9, so we can continue the factoring by grouping afterwards. So here's how we're going to figure out what to break the 15 into. First, we're going to look at factors of the first term times the last term, so 4 times 9, which is positive 36. And we're going to see which ones of those add up to the middle term of plus 15. And whichever one works, we're going to use that to split the middle term. So first of all, I look at the sign of the first times last. It's a positive 36. Because it's a positive, that tells me that the two factors have to have the same sign. They're either going to be minus, minus, or plus, plus. Then I look over at what they have to add up to. Because they're going to add up to a positive number, I know that the two factors cannot be minus, minus, because two negatives add up to a negative. So I know that I have to use plus times plus in order to add up to a positive. All right, so let's break it up into factors. So we have 1 times 36, and I'm only going to list positive times positive. 2 times 18. 3 times 12. 4 times 9. So all the factors of 36. 6 times 6. And the way I do it to make sure I'm catching all of them is I start with a 1, and then I keep moving up as to the next factor. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 doesn't work, so I went to 6. The next one that works would be 9, but that's going to bring me right back to 9 times 4. So I don't need to use that. I've already got it. And once I see one of them starting to repeat, I know I don't have to keep going, and then I have my complete list of factorings. So once you have your complete list of factorings, look to see which ones add up to 15. Well, this one's add up to 37. That one adds up to 20. That one adds up to 15. So that's the one we're going to use. We're going to use 3 and 12 to break the middle term. So that'll be step two. So step two is rewrite the middle term. with the factors we just found. So again, we started with 4x squared plus 15x plus 9. And we found that 3 times 12 worked for the factors. So we're going to break up this 15 into 3x plus 12x. So 4x squared comes down, plus 3x plus 12x plus 9. And then we can do our third step, factor by grouping. So we group the first two together, and from these two, we pull out a common factor x, leftovers 4x plus 3, and group these two together, pull out plus 3, we're left with 4x plus 3. Common binomial, 4x plus 3. Leftovers, x plus 3. And we've got our answer. And you can just multiply it out to double check that it does give the original back again.